Ooh, We're in cool. studio with David motherfucking Box, our fucking new intern Jason, who's the shit and comes up with lots of cool shit for us to fucking talk about. I'll tell you I'll, what, this guy's helping us out an awful lot. Just stepping off the bench, <laughs> Coach gave him the nod. Coach gave him the nod, and he just walks on. It's a home run. Okay, so we're going to go right into the next hour since we had like a hiccup in the first fucking hour, so we're like way behind, but we're going to do a... Uh, uh, Unsolved Mysteries with David Box right now, the top of the hour. We're going to have um, David Box. What do you got for us, man? Unsolved Mysteries with David Box. Unsolved Mysteries. Unsolved Mysteries with David Box. David Box. Unsolved Mysteries with David Box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mr. David Box. <clears throat> Mr. David Box is a local unsolved mysteries expert who is kind enough to lend his skills to uh, to our little show here once in a while. And uh, David, I want to thank you for being on tonight. You're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. And, it's uh, a it's a, a, a pleasure. <laughs> to be here, I, I'm really excited about the mystery. No, I really that am. You've brought for us tonight. Can you believe David Box brought us some of the finest mysteries I've ever heard of this evening? What do you got for us? What's He's the, an what, expert on knowing about things that nobody knows about. Right. What's this cryptos thing? This is the first one, right? Cryptos. Do you want to hear that one first? Are we doing that first? We because can do we cryptos got, first. We got we got a couple. Let's do. Cryptos, because I didn't even fucking yeah, know. Yeah, what is this? I didn't exactly, exactly because I'm, I, 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 when I, they told me about it earlier, I was like, what the fuck are you talking so about? So, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking cryptos with a K, right? Cryptos. K R Y K R Y P T O S. And this is a cryptos. Uh, what? Cryptos is a copper monolith at the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. Okay. It was built in 1989 by a guy named James Sanborn, who's still alive. So the CIA asked him to do this decorative thing in is like an, their is, courtyard. Is he an artist? Yes, he's an artist. And so they, so the CIA, whoever at the CIA, when they're when a memo is passed down, hey, we need this amount of money allotted for some fucking visual pleasure at the beginning, because that's the creepiest thing ever. Yeah, to how do you? What, so what he, he, he's, people, a, he's a sculptor. Go ahead. The, go ahead the, I'm, sorry. Yeah. I'm just saying, like to me, one of the creepiest things ever is the fucking ultra creeps at the CIA going like. Hey, we need to spruce this place up, <laughs> we but need we need to do it our way. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So, so this guy's a sculptor. This guy's sculptor. a sculptor. Yeah. He, so they'd walk into the sculptor shop and say, "I'm with the CIA. He's I need for- a statue." <laughs> Is that how it worked out? <laughs> I, I don't really know. The guy, James uh, Sanborn, is known for making statues that use, like, magnetic fields and stuff. So he And he uses a lot of different kinds of stones and weird shit. So, okay, so you're talking about pyramid, ley line type weirdness. He's, type, yeah, he's like... Type a, energy, uh, yeah. toroidal field type pulling energy-ness. Okay. Sure. Okay, okay. That's so... Crazy. Uh, <laughs> okay, so do we, do we know how big, do you know how big it is? Uh, it's it's like about as tall as a person, maybe oh, a little so taller. Regular as a person. Size. Yeah, it's okay. not so big, and it's it's like uh, it looks like a fucking big piece of paper sticking out okay. of the ground, but it's well, a big copper monolith. Oh, okay. Like so it's not it's not a humanoid figure. No, no, oh, okay. no, no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. It's like a waving piece of fabric. See, I didn't made know what monolith copper. meant. I thought monolith meant big person. Do we have a picture no. of it? Big triangle, or do we have a no. picture? No. Can okay. you describe it, it for us at all? It's like yeah, like imagine a like a waving piece of paper or a waving piece of fabric sticking out of the ground. Andrew is going to Okay, but it's made out of copper. So we, and, we, this Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. It's a, it's it's like a it's like a right. book. So it's we're like at, it's we're like a book. Right, yeah. We're looking at it right now. It looks like a bit like a old fucking giant Aramaic scroll. It's right. Like, yeah. It's right. like a big giant metal Dead Sea scroll in the by but, the CIA. Yeah, it's but, wavy, uh, but it's not on the ground. It's 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 vertical. It's, but so, it's upright. So. For, the, for those of you who are new to the show, if you got any information about the, this, call us right now while we got David Box in studio, 630-599-RUBS. That's R-U-B-S. 630-599-RUBS, and we'll check you out. R-U-B-S, we'll decide. <laughs> 599-RUBS. Um, and uh, 
we got uh so we got this we got this statue. What do people say about this thing? Why is well, this a why is this a weird uh why is this a weird deal? It's a uh, it's got four distinct messages on it composed of nearly 2000 characters and they're in it, what language? It's actually just a code. That's a code. And so it's not it's there yes. it, the de- it gets they're decoded English into letters. English and it's English so, letters. So there's 2000 characters code. in each language? No, in, no. in just English just characters. On, on the on the but nobody, structure. Nobody has credit. Okay, there's it's almost 2000 letters. How, how many how many languages? One language oh, so okay. far, okay, anyway. Okay. So, let like, me, let me just give you my first impression. Huh. All right. How do we know that the CIA, like, wouldn't it be so typical of them to just make a thing that wasn't a code, but to make it seem like it was a code? That's like just they the, didn't make it. All uh, right, right. The but they, but they hired CIA somebody guy. to make it. But they to commission to commission it. But so, yeah. like, so but you say CIA, the CIA didn't make it same as they weren't anywhere near the Gulf of Tonkin or anything. You know what I mean? Like they're not officially near a lot of things. Wait, they don't this, officially do but, a lot of things. They can't make a sculpture. They can't get the fucking guy. Tell, oh. give him the plans. Hey, buddy, six grand. The woman in the <laughs> yeah. I'm not, make yeah. us a sculpture. No, no, but seriously, is this on their property? Is it's it, on the property. It's yeah. on their in, property. In they Langley, paid. Virginia. They paid yeah. cash. Yeah, and the uh, the guy who made cash. it is still okay, alive and talks no, let about it. Let him get it. into this. So, okay, go ahead. Give us some more information. What what exactly did have have people deciphered? It says if at all. It, well, it's mostly deciphered already. Okay, so but is there any amount that isn't? Yeah, the four, there's it's made of four th- or four parts uh-huh. and. Uh, all but the fourth have been solved. Okay, we'll start from the beginning. How did? What Holy is it? What shit. language is it? Uh, who, who's well, deciphering right. it? Well, uh, yeah, right. So start the guy, beginning. the guy who made it, James Sanborn, he uh, got like a crash course in cryptography from the former chairman of the CIA Cryptography Center. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I figured. So this guy this gave him inside job the whole way. What is cryptography guy, exactly? It's like just you know what uh it's. They just like make a code for a language. Like you've got uh, substitution where you would have you would stack two uh, uh, alphabets on top of each other okay. and then shift one oh, down. Oh, okay, okay. You know, okay, it's okay. like cryptography. It's yeah. code breaking. It's yeah, means, you just means it's code just breaking. various different okay. ways of making a code. So what have we got, got? So what have we got so far? And how? Okay, what have we got so far on this? Uh, let's see. Parts uh, one, two, and three of this were cracked in 1999 by a guy named Jim Gilogli, who's a computer scientist in L.A., and he made a program. I know him. You know him? No, he's a good guy. I don't <laughs> okay. want to say anything else about him. Go ahead. All right. Well, he <laughs> he made a, he 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 developed his own he, he, computer yeah, program. He to developed it. Well, and also the NSA claims to uh, have cracked the code in 1992, but they didn't produce any evidence of that until the year 2000. So, and, is there? Do we have any clear message? Yeah, yeah. There's a clear message, and uh, the artist has confirmed. Uh, Why is the artist parts being... one, two, and three are correct? But he won't. He won't tell you what art. What fourth is? Mm-mm. So he's an artist and a code maker. Well, he wasn't, but he. The, it's kind of funny when he, so you hear. So why did the CIA give him this lesson in cryptology? Well, this guy built. Structures they asked on him to make lines. a structure for him. They said we want to do wanted, some decorative so, thing, so and he CIA, said, "This is what I want to do. Let so, me talk but, to this guy." Where did the, who did the message come from? Did the CIA dictate the, the message? No, the artist dictated the See, message. See, this sounds like the CIA commissioning some sort of weirdo priest class. Yeah, like a weirdo sorry. priest That's class. Okay. Like weirdo priest class artist. Let's see. What's his background? Uh, I don't. I didn't really look too deep into it. He's just an artist. He uh, See, he he makes more, like weird, strange. weird statues that deal with magnetism and magnetic fields, and like he uses weird special stones and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So he's he's a probably, big construction. Well, and he's probably style he might, art. He stuff. might have he might have some connections. He might be mm-hmm. a, a deep occultist. Who knows? It sounds yeah, like the CIA he went to some guy who builds statues and, and, for and masons. See, you know what I mean? This is what I'm suspicious from the beginning. Is like they they may have just like hired somebody a friend of a friend of a friend and like no. hey who knows a guy who knows a guy that'll just do whatever exactly we say and he'll say it's his idea or whatever because we want to mind fuck people and yeah. we want them to spend time on this stupid code for no reason well i'm not saying that's you know not I mean? the case but right. yeah. yeah that's kind of what i think right okay let's hear but... let's hear what we got from this though what, all right how, so, how strange is this so this jim Gologly guy ran his computer thing and uh was able to crack the codes and there's he got part one, two, and then three, and four still has to be cracked. 
Uh, do, can, do you have one, two, I, and yeah, three? Yeah, I have the parts Oh, my here. God. All Our right, listeners so, are fucking on the edge of their seats. So part one has been translated to, between subtle shading and the absence of light lies the nuance of illusion. That's part one. Okay, part two. Part two. Wait, read it again. I, be- <clears throat> follow right, along here. Part okay? one. Between subtle shading and the absence of light lies the nuance of illusion. Did you get it? All right, part two. Yes. It was totally invisible. How's that possible? They used the Earth's mag- magnetic field. The information was gathered and transmitted underground to an unknown location. Does Langley know about this? They should. It's buried out there somewhere. Who knows the exact location? Only WW. This was his last message. 38 degrees, 57 what? minutes. Wait a 6.5 seconds north, 77 degrees, 8 minutes, 44 seconds west, layer 2. Did those coordinates mean anything to you? To me? No. Did, Did you, you look, look them up? up? No. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> Really? Okay, what's part three? Wait, read it. Part, hold on, hold on. Read let's it. hear these all. Let's, let's get these what? all through. No, no, no. Give me the coordinates again so I can look it all up right, while we're getting the last part. Right, the coordinates. Let's see. This is weird. This is weird as fuck. All yeah. right, 38 degrees. So. 57 minutes. 6.5 seconds. North. 77 degrees. 8 minutes. 44 seconds west <laughs> layer 2 and that's the second message that's the second holy thing. shit man holy fuck. okay so what's the third message while, while our right. checker looks these parts three up. Did, did you get the coordinates are we good to go okay go ahead All right. part three is directly out of howard carter's journal the man who discovered king tut's tomb i know him he was cursed wait okay all right, and, and this is the journal entry where he's describing entering King. And Tuss this is tomb. part three of these. This is part three this of mon- this. this structure outside of the CIA headquarters. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Dude. Slowly, desperately, slowly, the remains of passage debris that encumbered the lower part of the doorway was removed with trembling hands. I made a tiny breach in the upper left hand corner. And then widening the hole a little, I inserted the candle and peered in the hot air escaping from the chamber caused a flame to flicker. But present, but presently, details of the room within emerged from the mist. Can you see anything? Dude, this shit sounds <clears throat> whacked out crazy. Wait. So, can we... Can we get someone with voice inflection to read all three of those things together? No, he did it fine. That was good. <laughs> no, well, he was fine. That sounded, that wanna... sounded good, man. I, uh, no, it sounded awesome. What the I, fuck? I kind of want to get a scope for what they all say together. No, no. Can't you remember? Just put them all together in your memory. The, what the first one was about. The first one was about like uh, interdimensional gray area and shades. The second one was about. Dude, yeah, no, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. The second one starts with with yeah. uh, it was totally invisible. Yeah, how's that possible? Yeah, right. So it, they it, use the Earth's magnetic field. Magnetic field. Not the only that, but you said gathered. that the sculptor. Are we talking about visitors? No, no, yeah, no. He said that the, the, the sounds He like. said that the guy who made aliens. the sculpture put monuments on magnetic areas, and they're talking about magnetic fields. They're talking about invisibleness. They're talking about gray areas. They're talking about. Dude, this is insane. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The first one's like look in the dark, and then this other one is like this weird coordinate thing. And the third one Did we get any describes on a guy yeah. discovering wait, something wait, hold on, hold amazing. On. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Did, what are those coordinates? Uh, the coordinates take us to the main campus of the University of Chicago. Go, oh my God. Are you serious? The University yes. of Chicago, where all the eugenicists, famous eugenicists in the last 100 years came from. Okay. It, they land exactly directly on top all of the, the rep- main building. All the, the reptilian box. eugenicists. How you miss that? Holy shit. Well, no, I, this is something I know from. <laughs> you just shrug. The, the worst shrug I've ever seen. <laughs> is, that, is that really serious? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Did you find somebody talking about it, or did you find the coordinates on your own? I Googled the coordinates and put them on a map. 
and it's and then you found something and it talking. landed exactly on the University Get of Chicago. Get the fuck yeah. out of here! That's fucking nuts. Are you serious? Yeah. We need to go down here and investigate this. Holy shit! shit. So what I'll did put it this. Say? I'll put the link to this on. What did it say is going to happen at these coordinates? You want just to read the part again? Yeah, read yeah, this. Right. That's number two. It, right. Read number two again, please. It was totally invisible. How is that possible? They used the Earth's magnetic field. The information was gathered and transmitted underground to an unknown location. Does Langley know about this? They should. It's buried out there somewhere. Who knows the exact location? Only WW. This was his last message. And then the coordinates. And then the coordinates? Wait a minute. Is he talking about Langley Air Force Base? Or I, well, Langley, Virginia is Langley, where this Langley, thing is. Virginia. So he does well, the actually, CIA know about it? Or, uh, you know, okay, does Langley? Can I, I have to ask Could you a question. I have to ask you a question about this whole shit. Hmm. Why no, can't it's the base? No, no. It's I have the, to ask you a question about the whole thing. Why can't the fourth part be deciphered? Isn't it the same language? Isn't it the same code? It's just a no. It's a different code. So parts all, one and two were a similar code. They were let's see. They were ciphers, uh, polyalphabetic uh, substitution. And what about number three that has been three deciphered? Three was used uh, transposition. It's a transposition. And cipher. number four is just completely four. They're thinking know. it that there's a concealment before the cipher is there. So what that means is that either all the vowels were removed or he was spelling words phonetically like uh or like in mad gab you ever play mad gab well anything that anything that like they, the message anything is put that, that way. they may think that's going or that on it's in a different language no, anything they may think that's going on with them not uh, unable to uh, decipher it is wrong because uh, as soon as it's right they'll know it um so they really have no idea yeah and currently the only person who knows or allegedly, the only person who knows is uh, Jim Sanborn, the guy who made it. He's the is he's, he's the guy who made it. Is he still alive? Yeah. Can, he, is this somebody we can call right now? Uh, well, I mean, if you had his number, yeah, you Did could. you get his number? No. He uh, got his and, number. He I him. gave him my number, guys, guys, guys. and I winked at him. Hold on one second. And <laughs> I said, hey... <laughs> Give me no, a call this is sometime. fucking interesting. Hold on, Andrea, did you find anything else out about this guy? It's uh, no, not yet. Nothing about his history? Is he a well, mysterious fellow? No, you, he you would think he people, seems kind of lackluster. The internet people would have could dug you, into this guy yeah, hard by now. Yeah, could, yeah. Could, could he kind of mocks the CIA type, in his um, interviews. Oh, I'm sorry. He's like, they're supposed to be smart. When they can't what crack my code. It's like they asked him to make 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 them a piece of art in the thing, and he gave them something that they can't figure out, and he's kind of like, her, 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 stupid fucking No, no, no way, no, no, no way. That's the way he yeah, acts yeah, in his yeah, interview. No, no, you know, no, no, at no, least that's his no act. Way. That's they all I'm told saying. Him, no, I believe you they, about that, that's his act. But, no, but, they yeah, told him what buying, to make. Yeah, they told exactly. him what to make. Yeah. This whole thing is some kind of weird yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll so, post the fourth, so the fourth code one, so our viewers the or the listeners can here's, try and crack Here's it. what it is. I'll tell you exactly what it is. The fourth code is uncrackable because it is nothing. It means nothing. And the third... He makes... He just the, wants the, to the make The first you... three are just enticing enough to keep you working on this for a long time to waste your fucking time. That's exactly what the CIA would be a symbol of. What would they put in their front yard? Other than just a symbol of how, the how, fuck, how much they... Uh, you know, just try to fuck with your no, with your it's mind. True. That would be well. the perfect symbol for them. Is like, check out this incredibly enticing thing that doesn't mean anything because we're just the masters of your fucking your mind. So go ahead, I, I, waste your time on your talk show, <clears throat> David Box. Sorry, sorry thanks for I wasted wasting your our time. time. No, actually, that, is, that is that is super interesting. Uh, me being a person from like. Ten years so ago, the, I was in the new world, into the new world order shit and everything, and I've never heard of that. What's Have you the, heard of that? No, I haven't. And what's with the fourth part of the code, though? What's 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 the deal? How, it's what's just different? undecipherable. It's indecipherable. Undecipherable. What am I? Oh, who's that's right? Different. That's worse. They're that's, saying that's that harder. he that there's a layer of what they're calling concealment. So he like uh, encrypts the words one way and then does it another way. And then he layers up. So other it's like things. a Rubik's cube. Yeah, he does like a okay. whole bunch of things and layers upon layers of. So you need kind of like a guide to. And you be think able that the CIA it. commissioned him to make something of his own, or they told him what to do? 
Well, I, I want your personal. What opinion. do I think? Yes, I'd really like to believe that they hired him just to do something in their and thing, he did and it he was he's like, awesome. "Here, fuck you." But you know, I, I don't really know. I didn't see anything that leaned either well, way in the interviews. I would say that, that the CIA told him exactly what to build and gave him the blueprint. He was taught by the former CIA cryptography guy. See, I'm okay, the opposite. So there we go. And I, I would like to think but, the opposite. I would like to think that I'm right about my instincts, that this thing would be completely controlled. The CIA wouldn't put uh, something in their front yard for no reason. They're they're the they're the ultimate kings of mind no, it's true. Yeah. of all time it's true. of all human existence. The yeah. CIA are the kings. Why would they do something that wasn't completely no, you're right. deliberate? You furthermore, like, furthermore, yeah. why would they hire somebody? Say you are, say you do make sculptures and shit, mm-hmm. and then you just show up and be like, "Well, that's what it is," and they're like, "Well, what is that?" And you're like, "I know you're my employer, but figure it out and shut up." Yeah. There's no way that he's gonna show up. Well, give them some sculpture with some language they have no idea what it is, and they're gonna say, "Sure, thanks for giving that to us." The they're case, gonna be like, "What is that?" And then he's gonna say, "Figure it out," and you're gonna be like, "You're fucking fired." <laughs> you the case could also right? be that they gave him a theme, and that they have a general idea of what everything's supposed to be. I hadn't he considered got to that. Playfully and you're right. It, you and, know, uh, I'm sorry. And he might, with the art kind of art that he does, he might be like a key player in secret shit. Well, I already, that's going I already on. had considered that because you were talking about his magnetic. Yeah. Stuff. So you know. So he might not be CIA, but he might be. Uh, you know, he might I have just, a wealth of. Did you know that and, I heard about what you were doing tonight, and I actually deciphered the fourth message. What does it say? It said, "You, your friends, and your mama, and you, and her, and him, and you, and them, and they already know." You should, you should tell, tell, tell everyone, everyone you care about, about to listen to, listen to the Sunday, Sunday evening, evening overdose. Mystery solved. <laughs> Mystery solved. Coordinates all, <laughs> all already right. known. So, well, yeah. so what else goes on at the University of Chicago? That's fucking no, weird, dude. Well, I know. Yeah. Uh, when, they when, got a lot of medical science. During all my fucking, all my New World Order research and shit, this is weird. They That is like the eugenicist center of the, of the United States. That's where all of them are. That's where all of them come from. Like, it's Operation Paperclip. That's where they sent them. Okay. Did they develop like nuclear? No, that was you. No, 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 no. Uh, if it? you look at it right now, the uh, they they are just complete liberal fucking uh, uh, right. cyborg weirdos. We gotta we gotta keep the show moving. We are gonna sacrifice a lot of research if we don't. Holy shit! Should we, should we keep no, no. It moving? I swear to God, I've read a lot about the University Although, of Illinois. Well, and it's it's, it's all weirdos, eugenicist, fucking cyborg, oh, no, 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 brain no, chip, fucking weirdos. I'm trying, but I'm trying to recall. I know, I agree. I've I re- kind of have the same memory, but. I am trying to recall the specifics, and uh, I, 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 I used can't. to messenger to there, and it was a strange fucking place. Did Nobody... you ever uh, bring anything weird there, or what? Yeah, uh, you're not allowed to look at the package. Oh, okay, it's in a box. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to open it. But I, but Let's I knew, when, but I knew, but I did know when I was transporting organs. That's when I did know, when I was a messenger. No, well, they got to tell you. They that. had to tell me. Yeah. They had to tell me that. So I had to be like, you know. What kind Liable. of organs did you transport? Uh, hearts, eyeballs, blood. Oh my god! Did you yeah. ever look at them? No, they're in a box, and they have they have cooling components. It's a regular box, and they're in styrofoam, but and they have these cooling component, uh, uh, that are like plastic bags, like like sort of like a hand warmer, but for cold. And you, they would break them and put them in there, and they would keep it uh, keep it cold till you got to where you were going. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, let's move along. That's here. how that's how it went down. It was really strange. Yo. And I didn't know what I was doing. And they didn't. I, I don't know. David I didn't Box. think that I should be transporting those things. <laughs> we should talk about that at, at some point, maybe Thursday. But we got to move on. We got <laughs> yeah, a lot of fucking no, shit planned. This thing is super right. so, strange. By that the he way, was for people uh, for people who are new to the show, uh, again, call in six three zero five nine nine rubs anytime you want six three zero five nine nine rubs. 
Why don't you like the star no more? Stop mm-hmm. interrupting. 630599 rubs. Yeah, why don't you like the star no more? Because rubs is funnier. Let's just go with but one. But isn't star good? Nah, let's Makes just go with feel one. Good. Because it's R U B S. It's a question. R U B S will decide. 630599 rubs. If, and if you are, then you're allowed <clears throat> on the show, right? We're trying to break into radio. Oh my Earth god, <laughs> with the stupid voice. We're trying to break into radio and we need some gimmicks that people will understand. People don't understand unless you break it down real slow and clear. Just ask my friend Steve Watermelon. What's up, Steve? What's up, guys? What you doing, man? How you doing, Steve? What do you think of my radio voice? Radio voice? Yeah, I'm trying to get a, <laughs> I'm trying to get a job in a real radio. <laughs> It sucks. The fucking radio voice is the worst. And if you know anything, let me just say this. The radio voice is so dead that fucking most of the regular radio stations, they just fucking have their fucking douchebag fucking radio voice dude do it from home in his boxer shorts. They don't even have them into the radio stations anymore. They just pre-record all that shit. It's like, hey, how's it going? I'm in my boxing shorts. We're going to listen to a fucking the same song again. There's no use for me anymore in radio. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to a guy like this, do they? <clears throat> no. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's the same shit, right? Yeah, it's bullshit. Uh, so we got another mystery. You know, uh...